guys welcome back to my channel thank you guys so much for being here and tuning in and for those who are not subscribed thank you guys for enjoying this first video with me i would love for you guys to subscribe and join the family we're learning we're growing together i'm trying to put out some really good content for you guys and keep it current to the questions that you guys are asking so definitely make sure that you guys keep asking those questions this is the first video of the new year and i'm so excited that it is this video this is a very 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 often asked question and it's about these two specific topics so today i'm going to be going over my bucket posing and my froggy posing so froggy is going to be later on in the video further down in her session um, at this point this is when my studio wasn't done and I was doing a different workflow so you'll actually be seeing me work on a bean bag which you guys know I've gotten rid of my bean bag probably over a year ago and I'm with tabletop now so here you see um, basically me going to pad the bucket and I'm using uh, this sounds so terrible but what is a knockoff version of the uh, free form which was from AliExpress now I did this haul a while ago on my channel you guys can always go back and look at it but I did this haul a while ago and in the haul was this piece and I'm not gonna lie I swear by it I still use it it does not compare to the uh, free form by any means it is definitely um, not not so malleable in the way that it has that metal piece in it but it still works so i'm padding the bucket i put a bean in there and you'll see a little later that i'm going to add another bean because she's tiny so i would say you need to stuff your bucket based on how small or big your baby is now of course the bigger the baby they can fill up the bucket themselves on top of this padding but if your baby is small like she is, and she wasn't small, she's just the average size of a newborn, but she tend, you know, she was actually a little smaller than the babies I usually get, which is totally fine. She's perfect. So I just padded it again with another bean just to lift her butt up a little bit so that her head was positioned well. And I'm basically just, you know, keeping her asleep, uh, moving some things off, getting her blanket off and putting her legs in formation so that I can put her straight into the bucket. Now again, I left this in full time. So this video is gonna be a little lengthy just so that you guys can see like, it's not, it's not as fast as I show. So um, I have seen a few comments where it's like, you know, how long does this actually take? Like how long does a newborn session actually take? And it could, it could vary. Her session was around two and a half, almost three hours, but we got through a lot and she had an older sibling, a five-year-old. So we did quite a bit, but this is one of the setups that I absolutely, absolutely loved. And um, I wanted to be able to show you guys exactly uh, what I did. Now, I think it back now, this is a terrible angle because you can't really see me put her in the bucket. So I put their legs right up against my body and I usually position their arms, at least one, underneath their chin so I don't have to disrupt them so much when I go to put them in the bucket. Now I do this so that they are they can settle into that position so that when I put them in a bucket it's not something foreign, it's not that they have to settle into it in the bucket. attempted one time to put her in she wasn't really feeling it plus she was just way too low and I knew I was gonna need to add something in there so I went ahead and took her out the first time and here I am just you know making sure she's nice and comfortable making sure she's nice and relaxed again and we'll attempt for the second time to put her in there to make sure that she's lifted and ready to go so if you don't get it right the first time you guys don't fight it Go ahead and reset, make sure your baby is comfortable, make sure you're comfortable, this way you're happy with the shots, the parents are happy with the shots, and baby is nice and comfortable. I can't stress that enough. A comfortable baby will more than likely do exactly what you need um, the entire session. So just make sure your baby is comfortable and you're comfortable with the posing. 
I was not comfortable with her being that low and I knew she wasn't going to be either. So here I am prepping to get her into the bucket. Of course you put their bottoms in first. I went ahead and I got her legs nice and comfortable where she's not laying on them weird, where it's gonna cut off circulation or anything like that. And then I laid her forward and here now you can see that I'm going to start um, moving her hands around just a little bit. Now you've seen that there was a arm right underneath and I just went ahead and put her second arm her second hand right underneath that first hand and the reason that I wanted her lifted and not um, with her head up too high or her head looking over the bucket is so that her head sits right between her shoulders so as I drop down you'll be able to see like where my hand is exactly what I mean by her head between her shoulders that's gonna be her stability that's gonna be her stable point because again right now at this point in life there they can't really hold up their heads too tough and you saw her flinch and um, it's a good time to say that you know you definitely want to make sure that you're close and um, at all times you definitely want to make sure that you're close so I never leave my babies unattended in a prop I'm always right there either with a hand coming to you know spot them or maybe mom and dad is watching over them but you don't ever want to really leave your baby in a prop unattended it's very you know it could be very dangerous so I adjusted her arm just a little bit this way her head was nice and lifted and now I'm going to put on her tie back now some people put them on before they get them settled into a pose just because you really don't want to mess with them too much in a pose. I totally understand that. But with this, um, as you guys saw that I pulled her out of the prop earlier, that could have very well shifted the headband or shifted the bonnet, whatever she was wearing. And instead of fighting with a bonnet, a baby who's trying to go back to sleep and you're trying to get them in the pose, I always aim to go ahead and shoot I mean, yes, yeah, shoot for posing them properly and then adding the headband or then adding the crown, flower crown, whatever the case may be. So always want to shoot down during these poses. And as you can see, again, I'm spotting. Even as I'm getting up, I'm spotting to make sure she's good, to make sure her head is good, that she's not going to move anywhere. And I wanted to just fix her diaper because I knew I was getting a lot of that. I just wanted to make sure that I didn't get too, too much of the diaper. Getting a little bit of the diaper is fine because in the end it kind of looks like they have on clothing. But getting too much of the diaper was definitely going to <laughs> bug me out a little bit in post-production. So again, perfect your shot this way when it's time to retouch. You don't have a whole bunch to do. So I'm getting different angles. I'm making sure that I shoot down on poses like this where their face is shooting up, well, facing more upward. This way you do not shoot up their nose. It's not a flattering angle. We definitely want every angle to be absolutely beautiful and well photographed. So you definitely usually want to shoot downward on a face, um, especially a little one. So I always get multiple shots of a pose, even if I feel like I've gotten it, just to make sure that I've got copies that are in focus and make sure that I hit my focus points. But I just, you know, I get them for good measure. I always get them as a safety because the last thing I want to do is get to my computer and the two, the only the two that I took are out of focus. That would kill me. And it's definitely happened to me before. So I've learned my lesson and now I'm like a semi overshooter, but I'm okay with that because my images are sharp. Now again, I'm leaving it in real time, which again makes the video very lengthy. But I kind of want to give you guys a little bit of a little bit of realism so that you can see exactly like how long this takes and how much patience this requires and how much skill goes into actually posing this baby's one you see as you know she's 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 moving but she, not one point does she wake up 
Not at one point, you know, is she crying? And then there's some soothing methods that I use to go ahead and get her back to sleep. So again, there is no sound on the video on purpose. Um, because like I said, you know, she has a little brother who was playing. Mom, dad, and I are talking. So I, you know, I just want their session to be kind of theirs. But I, she did allow me to record bits and pieces of her session, which I totally appreciate. So here I'm just you know chatting with mom making sure she's comfortable making sure she's happy with everything and changing the pose at the same time so there's a big reason why I chat with my clients during their session and granted I like to talk <laughs> it's just one thing I, I really do love human interaction so I really enjoy talking but this also gives them some type of peace of mind and it also makes them feel included As you can see she is still nice and sleepy so she was definitely very much comfortable in there and now I'm just going to wrap her now this is bonus footage there is no tips for this I have a video already on swaddling I'm going to link it in the description so that you can see exactly how I swaddle them and just a little slower with a doll that I got from Walmart just so that you guys can see and then there's another little setup just so that you can kind of see like the props I use the same uh, posing pillow in the bucket in this prop but of course she's just not um, as high or laying on her stomach should be laying on her back in this one and then we'll move to froggy posing and I'll kind of talk you guys through that one as well it just so happens that both pieces of what you guys are asking happens to be in this session where there's older footage now the only reason why, reason why I didn't put this video out um, when I shot it is because my camera died so a lot of her session I didn't actually get a chance to record or or even salvage from the SD card so that's something that I would definitely work on in the future, getting an actual vlogging camera with a really good battery. Okay, so here you see me moving my light around again I'm still talking to the parents keeping them nice and engaged and um, I'm just changing over my setup right now to do her beanbag poses now this is when my workflow was a lot different I would usually do my props first and then go ahead to my beanbag but um, I have since changed that so here I am setting up for the froggy this is the second most asked about uh, setup is the froggy and basically um, because you know so many people t teach you how to do it with um, a second set of hands which again I totally recommend my first couple of froggies were done with um, my friend Natalie uh, she was she's a photographer further in Palm Coast Florida she would literally drive 
two hours to come help me with a newborn session and this way I could get that froggy pose and then one day um while she was there with me I was like well hey you know still spot but see let me see if I can do it by myself so that you don't have to keep doing this driving two hours which I totally appreciate it so here um I pulled the uh the camera view in a little closer just so that you can see exactly what I do so you saw me set up the little layer that I use under them it just props them up just a little bit more now underneath the bean bag fabric of course you can't see it but there is a bean right where her feet are going to be behind her elbows there's a bean there so that that is like her her legs are lifted so it's not so much tension on her spine which of course you don't want and I place her hands around her cheeks and I make sure that they're nice and relaxed because babies will scratch themselves and actually like really really injure themselves so here you see I have her supported not at all is her own weight supported by her own arms let's be real these are babies that's not really a smart idea some people do it you're not gonna see it done here so I have her and I have her nice and dipped down in the back so her butt is a little lower um, than her ankles and her elbows so right now I'm just making sure she's in her position still talking to mom <laughs> still talking to mom always talking to mom but not, right now she's nice and comfortable she's in the position <laughs> Thank you. 
here is where I switch and as you can see I aimed for the bone part I get it quick and I move on and just like that that's how you achieve it by yourself now sometimes if I'm I want to do multiples and like get a side view then maybe I'll go ahead and change the headband or change to a crown of some sort but here I knew that you know she was nice and sleepy so I wanted to go ahead and get her into her next pose especially because she's so tiny she's so sweet so um, you guys can enjoy the rest of the video and see how I transition through the rest of her um, just this part of her beanbag posing basically so there was a lot more to the session and um but i really really wanted to show you guys the bucket pose and the froggy pose so that you knew exactly how i did those and i know i've gotten the question on uh this exactly what I'm doing right now like what goes underneath the beanbag now since you know you guys know that since um, maybe a year ago I've transitioned from beanbag to tabletop um, one it's better for my back and uh, it just helps me flow better so I will be doing a video on what to use for underneath your beanbag and then I do have some content where you can actually see me um, pad my table and everything like that um, as far as the bean beans for posing I will have that available on my website but I will go ahead and link it to a video when that is available so again I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching this far and I definitely want to invite you guys to subscribe. We are currently three subscribers away from 1,500 people. Like, what? Man, too, too excited. So again, hoping you guys are having an amazing Happy New Year. And I'm excited for this to be the first video of the new year and so many videos to follow. Mm -hmm.